Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Oh, this is a horrible story. And, um, you know, America is full of these type of individuals. And I think it's horrible that we don't examine these people or have any acknowledgement of who they are, where they are, before they wreak havoc on the rest of us. But there's a daughter from Iowa who accused her dead father of being America's most prolific serial killer, killing up to 70 women and forcing her to dump their bodies in a 100-foot well. The sheriff says, I believe her 100%. Oh, wow. Lucy Study claims her father, Donald Dean Study, who died in 2013, murdered between 50 and 70 women. Investigators believe his daughter's claims, which would make Study one of the most prolific serial killers in America. Authorities believe that he lured women to, from Nebraska to his five-acre farmland in Iowa before killing them. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office confirmed that cadaver dogs alerted to several spots on the property. The cost of boring the whale would be around $25,000, while a full excavation would be around $300,000. Do you know anybody who went missing at that time? That's what the article was asking because um, they might just be a part of this man's sick reign of terror on these women. Police are investigating that a farmer in Iowa mur murdered these 70 women and oh God, this is horrible. She told authorities that she was forced to use a wheelbarrow in the warmer months and a toboggan in winter to move the corpses across the farmland in Thurman, Iowa. His four children did their father's bidding when he told them to go to the hills because they were terrified they wouldn't come back, according to his daughter. According to his daughter, study would routinely be drunk and like to kill women by smashing or kicking in their heads in the inside of a trailer. Fremont County Sheriff's Office confirmed that cadaver dogs alerted at least four spots on the property, with at least with at last getting multiple hits. Oh, God. I know. Uh, a lot of y'all have been trained to think that the face of crime is black people and brown people. But I'm here to tell you that um, that's not particularly true. Okay? And it should be known that he actually fits the description of a serial killer. Unfortunately, I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear that. And you get mad and you think I'm picking on you. But I'm not. Study who died in March 2013 at the age of 75 is accused of killing anywhere between 50 and 70 women. And at least two men. One in his 40s and the other one in his 20s. Both of his wives died before him with the police confirming one died after strangling herself with an electrical cord and the other one shot herself. You reckon they saw some stuff that they just couldn't deal with? Oh, Lord. Investigators believe his daughter's claims was what makes Stucky one of the most prolific serial killers in American history. 
Law enforcement suspects say that he lured women thought to be sex workers from Omaha, Nebraska. And then he got them to the land and murdered them. Lucy claims that the women all had dark hair, were white, and most were in their 20s and 30s except for a 15-year-old runaway and the two men. They were all buried, clothed, and wearing jewelry, with Lucy claiming that her father kept the gold teeth as trophies. He would just tell us to go to the well, and I knew what he meant. Every time I went to the well or to the hills, I didn't think I was coming down. I thought he would kill me because I wouldn't keep my mouth shut. I don't feel anything for my father. Nothing at all. I wanted justice when my father was alive, but he's gone. I just want the families to have some type of closure and a proper burial. Studying reportedly forced his children to pile dirt and chemical lye on top of the bodies after dumping them into the well. Fremont County Sheriff Kevin a stroke confirmed the investigation saying, I believe her 100% that that's where the bodies are, and said that they do excavate the scene. It will be a big mission. When, if they do excavate the scene, it will be a big mission. He added that the cost of boring the will will be around 25000 again, and the cost to completely excavate it will be. More than a three hundred thousand. The property on Green Hollow Road is not an official crime scene because officers have not yet discovered any remains. The FBI and Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation are both assisting the local police with this investigation. Studley who had love and hate tattooed on his knuckles, is understood to have a criminal history, but was known to use several aliases. When he was jailed in Missouri in the 1950s for petty larceny, the Omaha, in Omaha in 1989 for a drunk driving offense, as cops confirmed they rarely went to the trailer where he lived because they were just wary of him. And they were cops, but they didn't trust their instinct. She added, all I want is to get these sites dug up to bring closure for all the people and to give these women a proper burial. My father was a lifelong criminal and a murderer. It is unclear if her siblings have been cooperative with the authorities with her brother Gary committing suicide at the age of 30, 39. Lucy claims that she told her story to several people over the years trying to get something done about it. But no one, no one would listen to her. What y'all think about that family? What do y'all think about that? I guess he makes Jeffrey Dahmer look like a choir boy. Oh. Cadaver dogs have been finding spots all over the farm and reacting to these bodies. Apparently that's dug up. I mean that's in 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 the ground. Good God Almighty. Oh. oh my goodness. What y'all think about this? Lord have mercy. Anyway. I'll see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, subscribe. 
and share the channel.